Hi, everybody. I'm gonna show you how to make an amaretto sour. Um, but it's gonna be for me, so I'm gonna put some wild turkey in it. So it's kinda gonna be an amaretto sour, whiskey sour. So we can call it an amaretto whiskey sour. Uh, okay, so let's begin. Let's start off with our liquor. Normally you're gonna do a two ounce pour. Since I'm gonna mix the two, I'm just gonna do one and one. So we're gonna pour one ounce amaretto. One ounce of wild turkey. One ounce of sweet and sour. Basically, it's lemon, water, and sugar. Fresh squeeze. Everything's fresh. And one egg white. The egg white is used for texture, not flavor, of course. I know you won't die or get salmonella. A lot of people have been drinking this for years and never got sick. Okay, we're going to do what we call a dry shake. It's basically no ice. What you want to do is you want to get a nice good froth because that's what's going to build the top of your cocktail so you can put your Angostura bitters as your garnish on top. So you kind of want to shake it for a little bit. The more you shake, the more froth you're going to get. I can hear some air bubbles in there, so that's getting good. Okay. Now we're gonna wet shake, so that means we're gonna add ice. The main reason for shaking is to dilute and to combine flavors and chill. Of course. Okay, I'll shake up. Let's get some more ice in the glass. And strain into the glass. on there yes beautiful now I'm not fancy and I don't have an ice ball because that would help me with my garnish and normally I have a food dropper so I can be more precise so we're just gonna take this and I will show you just a little drop Drop and drop and drop. You just take a little toothpick and just slice it through there, and it makes a little heart. Isn't that adorable? Of course, I gotta try it now. Mm, that's good.